Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Element Towers, a single player or two player co op tower defense game. If you're playing single player, you're going to be juggling playing two separate characters uh, while defending yourself from the enemies because each character apparently has their own individual tower that is separate from the other. Of course, if you play co op, I imagine, yeah, that each person has full control over each character. Uh, currently, we're playing a demo where I believe only local co-op is in, but when it is out, it is going to have online co-op as well. So, for today, let's see what this is like. Uh, first of all, place the, the waystone. I have no freaking clue here. Uh, but yeah, this is a demo. All of this stuff is subject to change, of course. Welcome to the Quiet Woodland. Here you can practice before a real battle. Oh, look at me go. Hey. To attack the target, put your staff near the road. Okay. Near near the road. Oh wait, oh I, oh I see the radius there. Whoops. Okay, interesting. So we gotta like do we have to we have to straight up pick it up and we gotta move it? Oh my god, that seems like that could be a problem. I've seen that spheres once their emergence is inexplicable, but they are full of magical energy. Okay, so get them. I mean, is it <laughs> look at us go. It Yay! Wait. <laughs> Use the defensive spell to hold tough enemies. Come near the road and summon an elemental. Okay, so we can... Yep. Oh, okay, so we can summon a minion on the road back through the path. Doing great, but you're not going to save the world like that, are you? I don't know. So that's... Okay, I was going to say, that's a good way so we could, like, pick up our tower. We could have it here. Uh, but maybe we we run around. Q to recall the elemental. You can play two heroes in single player mode. Tab to switch to another character. Okay, so we we like will actually straight up switch on the fly here. She is faster than the other character, so we can pick up all these things. Okay, interesting. Attack new targets until you complete the experience bar. So we have to pick up all that stuff individually. You summon an elemental going that way. You summon it going that way. What? <laughs> I mean, I think that's on purpose, though. So we, like, swap it. Am I... Am I wrong? Wait, it, ta it takes mana. Okay. Takes... Takes a good amount of mana. Place your staff on the waystone to get an upgrade. Uh, up, 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 up. Do we really... We have to go... All, we have to go all the way up there, pick it up? I mean, let's see, man. We'll see. Oh, we're faster now. Select an upgrade. This is where tower defense games become something uh, something special. So we'll see. Increases blizzard damage by 30. When you dissolve elementals, they explode freezing nearby enemies. Increase ice bolt critical chance. Uh, cool down a blizzard. I don't even know what blizzard is. Which one's blizzard? It's a, I think it's a move that we haven't done yet. Let's try that one out. Okay. Use the blink ability... Oh, thank God. All right. I was going to say, that that was sorely needed. I'm happy to see that there. So we can do this. If we play as her and we... So no, she is going that way. I guess maybe it's like... If it's over here, is it going... We just don't have the mana for it. Okay. Well, that was that. That was the, that was the tutorial. Okay. All right. Nertana Kingdom. Quiet Woodland. Oh, look at that. Hello there. Hide in the castle. We need to send a raven right now. This is our only chance. Car! Car! Look, it seems we have a guest. Royal raven? Help. King asks for help. His army was quickly defeated in quiet force. Or in quiet force. But he had many years... We have many years did not participate in any war. This is not our way. The whole kingdom's under threat. We cannot just stand aside. It is our duty. Hmm. Let it be so. The evil won't wait, and we too won't wait. Let's go immediately. I feel like there's like a little translation issue there, maybe. But per chance, per chance. Very that's neat though. Okay, so we can decide where this waypoint goes. I'm curious to see what, yeah, what the actual level is going to look like here. 
We have a we have a whole freaking bridge to to set up here. Run through. Hopefully, uh, okay. So we have that. Oh, if but if we're playing single play, that that's kind of the neat thing, isn't it? Right there is the the neat draw of the game right now for the single player is the kind of weird little almost uh, mind melty puzzle mechanic of switching between the two characters. Did I did I get the ability to? Okay, so that's what happens if I press E. So let me check. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Okay, so we do have an ability there on E. What is your ability? I'm assuming... It oh, let's go. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Get this while we're here. Huh. All right. All right. All right. All right. It's, 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 a, it's a humble game. It's a humble game, but there's some neat concepts here for sure. So that should freeze... No, 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 no. It's not, not the case. All right. So let's... Uh, Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, freeze them. Switch. Blast them. Oh my god. Our turret is not doing it. It ain't doing it for us, man. It ain't. This is normal. I guess we should have played on easy, huh? Sprint. Okay, so we have that. Uh, I guess we maybe should have put up our other elemental. Theoretically. So when we hit max... How do we... Oh, we have to level up. We have to level up to get that stuff. Okay. Drop you down. Is this guy uh, broken? No, he's just standing guard. Okay. I'm fine with that. Honestly, just having him just actually sit there and stand guard sounds wonderful. Get the experience. Hello there. <laughs> okay, good. Uh... We got our elementals almost done there, up there, getting ready to... Let's cast a new one. All right. All right. That, that wave was much easier than the last one for whatever reason. Beats the hell out of me. But so we have two different characters to uh, to have a level up as well. Because, yeah, the, there's the interesting thing of, uh, of, of the characters being separate for single player. Be, like you can just swap between the two. We will level up in between. Oh god. Uh, is there any way to just do a normal attack? No, we have to pull on blast them. We gotta straight up blast them. Hup. Oh my god. Get him, <laughs> elemental boy. Please. Oh, he just walked right past them. He just walked right the hell past them. Rude. So we kind of want to get them all grouped up here. So we can freeze them. Right? 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 Is that the idea? Switch. Boop. And we'll go have them both fight to fight together. What about dying by a friend? Okay, so we have the... They didn't just walk right past! Don't you do it. Aw. Oh, made it through anyway. Okay, well you've got this. Alright, alright, alright. Dip, 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 dip. Okay, so we can... Uh, the, the thing is, we have to run all the way back to our tower to pick it up and move it. When you dissolve elementals, they explode. Uh, increase meteorite damage, fireball damage. Reduces the cooldown of meteorite by five seconds. I mean, I guess that seems like it might honestly be the, the butt saver we really need right now. Uh, this can only go poorly. Increased tower attack rate, tower attack range, elemental's health, slightly increase the damage when you dissolve elemental's... Eh, sure. Drop it down. Honestly, let's just drop them both down exactly right there. Uh... Oh, we don't have the... El ah, we didn't have the ability, no! We didn't have the mana! We're dead, dude. We're gonna die. We're getting through this. It's... It's, it's brutal. It is brutal, brutal, brutal. Okay, so if we get through this one, I think we live, though. Like, I think we're done after that, then. Okay, let's... Oh! See, that's that's busted. That's everything. We did it! A tough battle, but you did it! Okay! Oh, my God! 
Yeah, there's a, there's a, there's a couple, there's some rough edges. There's some rough edges that I think actually would be like well, not solved, but well uh, handled by, you know, the fact that it is supposed to be a co-op game. But like theoretically, like in theory, there's some really fun stuff here. Okay, we are, we're still level two with the second character. What the heck? So let's, uh, hold on. Because this is red over here. So what if we uh, pick this up? Run, please, please, please. I feel like the uh, tower attack range, meteorite damage, we don't really need damage up. When you dissolve elementals, I'll go with the tower attack range. Why can I um, upgrade that, but not this one? Because I'm, I'm level two with this, this character, too. I don't know, beats hell out of me. That character's just... Seems better anyways. She seems way better. I mean, like, the ability to freeze may come in handy more in future uh, future levels and areas and stuff, I, I would imagine. The whole thing is, um... The fact that you only get one tower and you have to run back to it is kind of the, um... I know it's the core idea, but dang, man. I feel like being able to have multiple towers is kind of like a, a really important aspect of a tower defense game. And I mean, yes, I guess you got you got two, don't you? But we'll see. I think that the game like kind of lives or dies on uh, how. Well, first of all, lives or dies on co-op, and then lives or dies on how these towers have the ability to be upgraded. Like, how can they be upgraded? Uh, okay, hold on. Yep. Nope. Run. 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 All the characters are so slow. Eh. Goodbye. Okay, there we are. Let's run back up across the bridge here. Get a little bit of mana on our way. Get a little bit of mana on our way. Like I feel like the yeah the base running speed should be up up a little bit here. Yep. Tower attack range, blizzard damage. I mean, maybe blizzard damage. Uh, like, blizzard damage, that's a different story. Okay. Don't you do it. Okay, so, eh. Drop that down. Hello. Get wrecked. I feel like maybe, yeah, maybe if there was a, a button that would let you automatically absorb your tower back into you no matter where it is... That might be a good thing, because if I press space right now, it does, doesn't do anything, you know? So these are still up. We can blast them just fine like that. Good deal. Boop. 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 I mean, we're, we're doing better now, I think. We're doing, we're doing better now. We got that full mana. Doesn't do anything when we, uh, when we gather it at full. Slow these suckers down. They, they will just walk past. They don't care. They don't care. Or maybe if we had, uh, maybe if we had a basic attack on left click, like that might be something too. Like it feels like I'm supposed to be able to do something with my mouse, but I can't. Fuck. Are they gonna be good? But like I think that yeah, moving our towers is maybe supposed to be a bigger part of the game than it feels like I have the ability for it to be. Critical attacks can cause explosion dealing damage nearby. Meteorites ignite the ground. I mean, that's pretty cool. I like that. But alter time, I think that's going to be a better way to go. Actually, I mean, we, we should have these in the spot where they are going to be... Uh, whoop, stopped by our elementals, who seem honestly low-key very busted. All right. So we have separate experience, uh, separate experience pools as well, which is interesting. Beep, beep. Cause I, wait, cause yeah, she's killing a lot more than he is. Logically so, she's getting fed. They are, they are feed. Oh my God, we got the angry dogs. But our towers are too good. I think we increased the uh, the speed on them. All right, so our elemental is getting a little hurt here. It's fine. Just uh, honestly, just summon a new one. Oh, wait. We summoned the elemental and then we immediately killed it, which caused that AOE explosion, I think. Oh, God. Oh, God. Look at, look at him run. 
Eh. 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 Oh. He's just, he's struggling. Eh. Eh. Alright. We can slow all them bad boys down. That should probably give us... I mean, we can also just kill Steel with her. <laughs> I'm feeding. Whoop. There's a lot of downtime between these waves, too. There's just, there's a lot of, like, this is a demo. This is a demo. There's a lot of areas I'm uh, I'm noticing for for improvement. So they, oh, okay. That's an interesting thing. Are, is what I'm gathering here that those guys are uh, resistant to fire. See, that's, okay. I think... Playing around with these, this co-op uh, or, or like puzzly element of the two characters, like either single player co-op or, or, or self co-op, or you know what I'm saying. We're technically playing co-op right now, even though we're just doing it by ourselves. Send it back, put it right there. Good deal. It's designed around that idea. But the fact that, like, so much of this map is uh, unused and it's kind of just like, we, we use it if they just happen to sneak through, then we got to, like, try and, like, being able to just pick up our tower right now, like, pick it up right now and then put it down here, seems better. I don't know. Like, obviously, we'd have to be balanced accordingly. Maybe, like, um, the further... Oh, boy, I messed that up. The further away you are, the bigger the cooldown, you know, before you can place it again or something. But the uh, the emphasis on just kind of like running around the map is, I think, a little too high. And the emphasis on strategy is a little too low. Kind of kind of my vibe at the moment. But uh, there, there's a promise. The, conceptually, conceptually... This has promise. This has a lot of promise. Yep. Yep. Switch over. Blast over. Boom, bang. Uh-oh. Like, I gotta go... Gotta go grab this. Run. Run. Uh, yeah. Okay. I mean, that was kind of... Like, that, that felt... That felt quasi-satisfying. Maybe this is a better idea. Like, we have one on each side, so that depending on which side they, they run to, we have, like, a slightly better way. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, I want to look... I'm a, I'm a sucker for looking on the bright side. And lo oh, looking for what I like in games. More than, um, you know, like... What I what I what I think could be different. I could you know I could just, I could sit here and I could talk for twelve years about oh man that typo in the you know the typo in the cutscene or whatever like oh god it just oh err whatever like it doesn't bother me that much. Uh, what bothers me is when games are made without without spirit without heart and I do not think that that is the case here. Uh, it, it has a very fun concept that as far as it's a demo you know it's a demo oh boy we'll, we'll see we'll see in the future what happens here i i would love to in the future if it gets uh gets more updates like we get a little bit more i feel like they're the two tower thing i think is cool but i i think it should be abandoned I think it's a cool, like, I, I get that it's probably on purpose, but I think that it would, the game would benefit from each character having about, you know, maybe three, three highly customizable towers that maybe you place down with one, like, the one, two, three keys or something like that. Like, that's what I want to use the video to talk about. I want to, I want to talk about, uh, maybe we'll talk directly to the dev here. Like, how could we, how can we make this as cool as I can tell it can be? Uh, tower attack range, tower attack rate. You know what? I want to do... I want to see what this is. Like, it feels like, uh, yeah, like, I don't know. Would Maybe, like, a very gentle... Like, maybe the auto attack can suck butt, like, you know? But I feel like maybe some kind of auto attack. Certainly less, less emphasis on running around the map. Because the characters run way too slow for that. Like, or if you're going to keep it that way, the characters need, like, a huge movement speed buff, in my humble opinion. 
Okay, so we can take this. Move that. But, like, there could be some some fun craziness in, in two characters trying to manage. And see, like, that... Being able to play it uh, single player kind of... I guess is maybe the reason why it can't be this way. Like, if, every char if both characters had... Oop, hold on. There we go. Like that was, I mean, that's kind of neat. It's kind of neat. I, I like that. There, there's, there is something here. There is something here that I really, I really appreciate. That I really appreciate. Did I? Oh, I don't have the mana. Yeah, the the running around to get the mana is probably probably the most annoying thing on earth. Like, just make it so you can run on the road and the enemies drop it. Right? It feels like a little I don't know. Feels like a little bit better approach to that idea. Also, we're totally at uh, Oh, god dang it. There's a big cooldown between being able to swap between the characters after casting a spell. And that keeps getting me here. Bow! Also, Fireball is just bonkers strong, man. Ugh. If the sprint... if the, I don't know. Like, maybe if the dash... The dash was way more frequently usable, it'd be a different story. But it's... It is not... It is not that usable. Like, we can obviously switch between the two characters, everything. I I did that backwards. Alright. But yeah, we're, we're having an easier time. With, well, I, which way are they going? Okay, we have the fireball. Ow! Good deal, good deal. take, uh, okay. I mean, yeah, I mean, maybe if we just were playing in co-op, maybe that would just solve all the things. Like, I, I know, I'm well aware that that comment will be left there, but hey! They said that, they said it's super playable in, uh, in single player. And it doesn't even have online co-op right now, so. It's like play, but it, it's kind of, it's more akin to playing, uh, Overcooked by yourself, where it's like, is it possible? Yeah! Absolutely, you can play Overcooked by yourself. You totally can. And there is a really fun... It becomes a different kind of challenging. And... I don't know. I feel like there's a... There's a couple ways the game can be torn here at this point, you know? Uh, and the, the aspect of being able to play single player and being able to play co-op. I, I think one of them needs to be the clear focus, and I... Th think that it probably would be wiser to go with the co-op, I guess, but, you know. What do we go for here? Tower attack rate? Sure thing. Sure thing, sure thing. Drop down that tower. We have our, uh, our elemental back again there. Good deal, good deal. Slow him down. You should, you should be good enough, right, guys? Right, guys? But yeah, like I, I'm, I'm trying to see where the uh, the reason to play a second time is right now. And like, yeah, it, it's just it's a demo. It's a demo, but you got to put your you got to put your best beats in the front, right? Those are the money beats. Boop. Oh, we can walk through this. But yeah, I feel like, I, I don't know, I feel like uh, being able to just walk on the road, I think it maybe is fine. And just like auto, if you need the towers to not be on the road, auto snap them to the side or something. Uh, Character-based movement speed should be a bit faster. And the, uh, the big thing, that running across, the, just like running around the, the, the map as a core mechanic. I'm not with it. But, again, I only say all these things because I want... I I would love... I would love to come back to this game in co-op in the future when it has online co-op 
when hopefully it's implemented a couple of these other ideas. Because this feels like... Because what, what, is, what is this game most reminiscent of? Let, everybody say it with me in three, two, one. Orcs must die. Uh, there's a lot of space for it. There's a lot of space for it in the old, uh, in the old marketplace. I, I genuinely think so. I, whoop. Orcs must die three came out. Looks promising, but like, this is just a, it's a different thing. Is that, are you guys gonna be okay? So, spend my blizzard on you. Oh, never mind. You know what? I'm trusting you, big boy. While I go and do my, well, I guess I cannot do that. How much does it take? 20. All right. But yeah, there, there's a lot of there's a lot of room for this to uh, to grow into something super cool. If this is it depends on how early this demo is, you know. I've just I've the game has the unfortunate situation of I I've played a lot of amazing demos recently. When you dissolve your elementals, they explode, fusing nearby enemies, increases ice bolt ice bolt critical strike chance by three percent, ice bolt damage by ten. Tower attacks by two... Tower attacks two targets simultaneously, distributing damage there between. Is that better? Really? Like, I don't know if that's definitely better. I am going to try it because it is one of the most interesting, uh, interesting upgrades there. But... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the fact that, I mean, you know, I just, there, there's a, a bunch, you could have a bunch of different characters I, that you play as, like, there's just a lot of, uh, there's a lot of room for this idea to be something really fun. Really fun. Flawless results! The second level was easier than the first, I think. Uh, let's, uh, we'll think around with this. So where do we put this? So this is... Hmm. It, it seems like just, I mean, maybe with uh, with co-op, it probably wouldn't be the way, but it seems like clumping up your your towers exactly on top of each other just seems like the thing to do because the elementals will keep them in the radius where you will... Uh, it keeps them in the radius where they will, uh, will get bodied by it, you know? Oops, I didn't mean to do that, but it'll be okay. Did I not do my elemental? I guess because I didn't have the mana. Uh. Get him! All right. All right, all right, all right. Ooh, doggy. All right, I don't know if we're going to end up doing the the, uh, the full level or not. Because uh, if they increase in length the way that the other one did, it seems like... Yeah, it's maybe, maybe gonna be a, a long end. Okay, so I'm assuming that means you are strong to the ice boy. Wait, we're still level six. Summon an additional elemental squad. Uh, hello. Seems like we're per chance getting a. Uh, Okay, I mean, that's just... That's just crazy, the, the amount that that's better. Oh, hey. Hey. Oh, we don't have any mana! Wait. Sprinting costs mana? No! 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 Don't do that! No! Oh. Don't make sprinting cost man. Definitely, definitely remove that. No. Oh, man. That's not going to be good down there. Uh oh. Yep. Can we blast them? We can blast them. Fireball, leave the little trail back there. It ain't good enough. 
Get him, gang! So, yeah, is this like... It's all one bit... What? He super bopped us. What the hell? He didn't even care one bit. He didn't even care for a darn second. This one is much harder to... To move around solo here. Okay, put these down. Put that down as well. We'll do a little bit of... Whoop! Okay. Yeah, we're, we're getting to the point now where maybe we, maybe we would want a little bit of that damage up. We didn't need it before. Did not need it before. Now we're, now we're wanting a little bit more. I'm having a, I'm having a bit of a desire now. Okay. Oh, shoot. Whoop. 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 Uh, let's just use our spell. That should be enough, right? Good. All right, I want to upgrade my dang, uh, my dang ice boy tower. Whoop. What do we got? Summon an additional element. I mean, it just feels like the way to go. I feel like, yeah, the uh, I think the there's a lot of room for the upgrades to be very cool. Like, the upgrade paths in a tower defense game are super important. Super important. Uh-oh. Uh. Uh, my fire be purged! And then walk in there slowly. Hey, that's kind of neat. That's kind of that's kind of that that felt that felt nice, but yeah. Uh, okay. There's a priest there. Uh oh. Um. Blast them. Yeah, there's a big delay between uh being able to cast the stuff. Take our tower. That's the thing. It's like that's part of it. What we can do, we can just go. Bam. Uh. Uh. Never mind. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Let's get through one more wave here. We'll get through one one more wave here, and then maybe we'll come back to this at, at a uh, at a later point, and maybe with uh, with co-op on. I think will be uh, will be the the idea. Whoop! Blast them! Get him, gang! Maybe our radius is too small. Maybe we need to be upgrading that. Whoop. Whoop. Why does the dash cost mana, though? Of all of all the problems, that one is the most heinous. That is the most heinous. Bop, 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 bop. We're going to be able to keep him stuck there. Get it. Nope. Oh, we're out of mana. Oh, we're still out of mana. Ah, still out of mana. <laughs> there we go. Actually, it doesn't work. Why doesn't it work? Why doesn't the tower work? Like, what's the... <laughs> Hello? Why didn't it work before? All right. All right, all right, all right. You know, it's, I, again, there is a lot that that is very interesting here. This has the potential to be taken somewhere very, very cool. I'm going to just let this play out here. Uh, this has the potential to be very, very cool. Do I think that there's anything malicious behind any of this? No, I no, I don't. I don't think that it's like a greedy game dev, yada, yada, yada. I think that there's just... I think that this can be done very, very well. I think that... 
I think that there's some edges that need to be kind of kind of sanded off. Uh, the whole running around thing, it's just, it's not a satisfying, you know, it's not satisfying, <laughs> you know, it's not fun. It's not fun to feel like you have to run all the way around the map to get the mana. It's not, it's not fun. Just make the enemies drop it and then they get auto-absorbed to your character, you know? Just like, just do that. Something like that. I don't know. Or whatever. Like, there's a, there's a million, there's a million different ways to have that go. Uh, like, some of the customization options, uh, uh, available here, they're neat. They're neat. I, I, but a lot of them were just simple, like, damage up, crit chance up, stuff like that, which, which is not as neat. I think that, uh, yeah, I think that having multiple towers with this could be really, really fun. Having that be on, like, one, two, three. Hell, like, I don't know. Your opponent was stronger. Yeah, that's fine. Boop. That is that. And that's going to do it for today. That man is a creepy looking son of a gun. That is a creepy looking son. Let's go back to let's go back to this here for a second. Thank you everybody for watching though. This is this has been uh, this has been let's try. We've been playing Element Towers here. There'll be a link at the top of the description if you want to wish list this and track its development process. I uh, I think it's it could it could be very cool. I think that there is a lot of room in the market for what this is. I think that this kind of like yeah the, the two player eight, uh, you know separate co-op playing a tower defense game but your characters actually move around everything like that could be fun however give me a reason why these characters aren't cursors you know the reason like this is what the dev needs to hear i think the reason that these characters aren't cursors is has to be important Right now, all the characters are, they serve as a way to just make it harder to place your towers, make it harder to, to get your mana and everything. They're the, the most enga uh, engaging and, and valid reason why they are not cursors and they are actually characters is to cast the spells. But give me a reason. Like, if they had the ability to attack simply, like, I'm not saying their attack should be better than the towers, but like if they had an attack or something, if, they, if there was something other than they're just here to make it harder to place towers, so like there's you know there's something with moving around the field, everything like that, uh, then maybe there's like a reason for that for them to exist in this fashion. But for right now, it just serves to kind of frustrate the player, like with the the orbs being around the map everywhere. It's just you have to run around to be able to, to to do what you want. Sprinting costing mana is just no, no. With how slow the base characters are, no, the sprinting cannot cost mana. Uh, but other than that, like th there's some core changes that I think would maybe need to be made uh, to this to be a, a super enjoyable experience. However, I think that they can be made. I do think so. I don't think it's actually like I know. There's a lot of YouTubers and everything out there who are just way, way more um, toxic, I guess, than I am in, in their form of critique of games and everything. I think that this has a lot of potential. I don't think it's as far removed as you may think if you have uh, judgmental opinions on it about right now. Like, I'm the one playing it. I, I, there, there's, there's some elements that are off. They're very off. But, but it's, it's a good idea. It is a good idea that needs, it just, it needs, it needs to be wider. You know what I'm saying? And I think that'll happen maybe when it is not a demo. Uh, we'll, we'll come, maybe we'll come back to it in co-op when it's, uh, when it's more complete and see what it, what it looks like then. But, uh, yeah, there, I think there's gotta be quite a few tweaks to the formula to, to make there be a justification as to why these characters are exist on the field either being light light attacks uh i don't know yeah M multiple ta more than just the one tower let me pick up the tower wherever i'm at back to my character uh and then like like i said there could be a cooldown before i can place the tower and you can have if you want you can have that be like related like if you're further away from the tower and you pick it up it takes longer or it takes like it takes time to get to you or, or whatever just any there's a million ways you can do that there's a million ways you can do that 
uh, to make it so you can get the tower to come back. And, and it doesn't serve to just be like that frustrating in that way. Maybe if the characters, you know, if you had three separate towers, you put them all down separate across all the field, maybe it'd feel a little bit more uh, engaging in that sense. Right now, it just kind of feels like the idea is to put down a tower and then like generally it's like why move it is the is the other thing the reason to, the reason for all of these things is because there's just something uh there's resistance against the player it's not it's not it's not because it's an interesting strategic decision it's because there's just there's just friction there's just friction there's just resistance however that is all uh, that is like, all I'm going to do for today this has been element towers Dev, if you're watching this, I believe in you. I believe in you, Dev. I I think this could be I think this could be really fun. I uh, I you know apologize for for ripping into it so much, but I'm, I, it's because I want I want it to do well. I want it to do well. I want you to I want to play this again in a year, and I say, hey, that's what it was missing. I want to do that. I want to play this again in a year and say, hey, I was miss that that's what I was missing because I want this to be good. Uh, I would love, I would love for this to be good. That is going to do it for today. Apologies. Apologies for the, uh, the, the yeah, the, the critique more game designy kind of philosophy here. I know some of you like that. Some of you enjoy that. I enjoy giving it, but yeah, there, there's some work needs to be done. I believe in you, Dev. That's all I have to say. Thank you for watching. My name is Retromation. I put out videos on indies every single day. Uh, and I try to I try to give a positive spin on it, even when I find there's uh, even when I find critique. I, I I do always try and spin it in a, a way of helpful, constructive uh, feedback. I hope hope that it came across that way here today, and not as a bunch of pooping all over Element Towers, because I think it can be good. Thank you for watching. As I said, indies every day. Like and comment if you enjoyed the video. If you respect. You respect the critique you all or if you also think the dev can do it, you know, if you, if you think I'm not gonna, you know, hell This is probably enough for somebody like this is it's fun Play this in co-op, you know, that's the other thing I would say don't play it solo Just don't, don't play this solo right now uh, If you play the demo or anything play this co-op don't play it solo Though it do, did provide an interesting different type of challenge. I Don't know if playing it co-op would make it better or worse. I'm not sure I'm not sure, because I, a lot of the interesting decisions were between switch when to switch between a certain character to another. Anywho, I could keep going forever, but I'm not going to. Thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you. Oh, boy. Like, comment, subscribe, all those garbage things. If you respect that I left that stuff until the end of the video and not the beginning, do me a solid. Leave me a like. Leave me a comment. Something. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about the game. Do you like it more than me? Do you like it less than me? Let me know. Thank you, thank you. I'll see you next time. Bye!